In this video, we'll take a look at how to create some editing options such as the strike through and the double strike through option in Microsoft Word. And then we'll also look at a way to quickly apply these edits across several different pieces of text in order to speed up our work. So let's say here there was a word that we wanted to edit here. Let's say uh, diocese for whatever reason we wanted to call the attention of this word. And I could go to the Home tab and then select under Font. Notice here there's the ABC with a line through it, and that's the strike through. So I can get that right on my ribbon here and go ahead and select that and notice how it applies that single strike through text. I'll well, say that I'd rather have the double strike through. So let's go ahead and click on undo here. And then with that word selected once again, if I go to font and expand this dialog box, then in this dialog box here, you can see down under effects, there's double strike through. Go ahead and select that. It previews it here. That looks good. And click OK. All right, so that's how we produce the double strike through. Now, say that there were several different pieces of text that you wanted to apply this effect to. So I could go ahead and select that effect, the double strike through there on diocese, and then go to the format painter and double click this and make sure you double click it. And then any word I select or group of text that I select will apply the double strike through option. And I can do that very quickly as I move through. Now this will remain in effect. In other words, the format painter will continue to apply the double strike through option to any text I select as long as I just continue to do that. Once I go and click on some other command, such as save or what have you, it will turn that off and you won't see this paintbrush any longer next to my cursor. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click uh, Save. And then now I go over here and I click on a word and notice the paintbrush is gone and it doesn't apply that format anymore. But if I want to reapply it, then I just go ahead and select an example of that format, double click Format Painter, and I can go back to applying that option wherever I would like. Okay, that's it for creating strike through and double strike through text and using the format painter in Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching.